Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's play Open XCOM The World of Terrifying Silence. When we last left off, we have met new enemies, the Jellymen, and a new type of mission, a tsunami generator, sort of a base-like mission. Very nicely made. And uh, the Jellymen are a very, very nice addition to the game. So kudos to the modder. Well made. I guess my only comment would be that uh, those rooms in that base were completely isolated from each other and it was quite hard to traverse the terrain but uh, other than that very cool idea with uh, those new weapons and the enemies and the graphics is, is really nice okay so what next I think we are building yes a few med bays here uh, 3 million, what are we researching? High speed fighter flying sub, producing particle disturbance sensors only. Okay, I guess we can just uh, fast forward time. More enhanced aquatoids. I would definitely like to meet those. They will do nice training for our MC gifted operatives going to Antarctic. So let's send our MC gifted operatives after them straight away. Do, they are refueling though, so maybe we can wait a little bit until they refuel. Okay, looks like they are going to go... Yeah, they are going to disappear. Dang it. Okay, Triton, go and find them. They must be there somewhere. If they are not there, maybe here no maybe there no okay how about here come on they must be somewhere mm. where would they be if I can't see them there they are, okay, can we go after them? Or are they going away already? They are slowing down. There's a Naga temple, I'm not doing any Naga missions anymore. I'm sick of Naga missions. Let's, uh, let's follow these guys. Okay, they have touched down and we can begin the mission. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so how about first looking at them? Maybe somebody is nearby. Oh, they will be nearby. That's beautiful. Come on. Show yourselves, just one, one is enough. No? I'm pretty sure one of you wants to meet me. Go down. Face this way. And I think there may be our no, out of range, okay. And um, that's not great. I have to take him down, unfortunately. He's uh, very dangerous over there. But what we shall do is... Um, is bring our MC operatives closer, basically. All of them, so that they can uh, panic the guys inside the craft. That's what we want to do, right? It uh, takes a little bit of our energy, but we'll spend a few turns going inside, so that should again give us uh, more time. Alright, so first Wrestling Jesus, you will be the one opening all the doors for now. Oh, you are... you are not an MC operative, I need to remember to rename you already. And these guys are MC. So Taras, 
the second and master blast and the third you guys are fine these guys can potentially go up and uh, be my snipers or something like that you here and this guy I don't know there why not okay so here we go first uh, scouting check our bags there is someone okay he is pretty far away let's give the experience to this guy maybe can you see him no maybe if you go a few steps forward now you can see him now you can kill him excellent how about scouting a little bit more didn't happen so now Tarzan you will do the same this way and uh, Sir Drown a lot will do the same that way good hide and hide now you can see someone okay that's uh, rather difficult or dangerous I meant to say Let's go one step back and maybe we can shoot with a couple of people just for fun. Well, I guess that's too much fun. Okay, maybe maybe I have scraps can go here. And you can move a little bit. That's all right. Now we go after these guys anyone no so let's go inside the MC operatives don't need to be moving at all I think wrestling Jesus take that out both of you face that way next turn they have shot at us unfortunately are we hurt no we are not is anybody nearby no they are not did we just kill everybody? That would be not so cool. That would be not so cool. Maybe we have killed everybody. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they can still show themselves. Okay, I guess. Do you have a scanner? Maybe you can show me something. Oh yeah, there is one, okay. Don't kill him, please. We need him. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Okay. So uh, you can uh, fast forward like one or two minutes. There will be some MC training going on. On this poor guy. Maybe even uh, one turn because he will most likely panic and surrender. But uh, at least you get some training. Always better than nothing. Okay. Then um, one more, nice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, all the guys are there, cool, and jam some more, excellent. Medic, oh, maybe we want him alive, so let him surrender, yeah, let him totally surrender. Is it the same guy? It might be the same guy. How would we find out? Two rounds are enough, right? We will not have too much uh, more energy anyway. Okay. And after that we can maybe... Well, take him alive or something. 
Yeah, I pretty much think so. Okay, not enough energy and uh, not enough energy. That's very good. Oh, you guys don't have the stun gun, right? Right. Okay, well. Well. Fine. Bye. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Well, it's cool. Is there anybody nearby? Is there anybody nearby here? Doesn't look like it. So it was the medic. Nice ship plan, by the way. But there is somebody outside still. Unless I'm completely mistaken, of course. Hmm. So where do you think they would be? It's probably... Probably going to be this way. No? No. Interesting. Maybe if you go a little bit further and down and you go this way. Hmm. Are we sure they are not in the... Maybe he's just panic, you know. Well, somebody has panicked here. Maybe he went outside. No, they are not here. Interesting. It really is. Face that way. Okay, let's go here. Nobody to be seen. Did they did they steal our Triton? No, the Triton is still there, okay. <laughs> uh, let's actually switch everybody like this so that if they come this way. We are sort of prepared for them. And uh, let's go here. And here. And I don't know where else. What have we not seen yet? Well, the two corners basically. So let's take this corner first. No. That corner. No. Inside the ship. Still no one. No. Hmm. This way. No. I mean, where are you? Are we going to die here? OMG! This is not fun! <laughs> how is this... How is this possible? Did they go inside? No. Okay. Let's put all the MC operatives inside. I don't want to lose them. They were expensive. Okay. If you can go a little bit further, please. Thank you. You the same. And also you. Like this. Perfect. Okay. Now... There is still no one here. You stay there. This is absolutely impossible. 
Where? Here? Yes. Look at him. Aquatoid uh, being very, very, very afraid of us. <laughs> As he should be. Okay, well, let's go closer to him. And, uh, bye. Okay. Got some stuff. Let's check. Whoops. Let's check uh, the improvements. 5, 6, 3, 5, 4, 4, 3. Not bad. Loot. Let's sell everything except for the corpses. And Zerbite. We can sell that, 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 that. We can sell everything. We, I think we have enough plastics, but let's keep those as well. Okay. Sell. And um, that was nice. We still have these guys. I mean, Naga Temple, sure. Why not? I'll probably do it off camera. Do we need the... Yeah, we need uh, the score from that mission. We don't need anything else, but our score should go up a little bit at least. So I'll send somebody who wasn't on any mission for a long time. I think you were on... Wow, seriously? 44 days? 44 days. How is that in the base where you actually... Otherwise it would be like... Otherwise it would be 66 days. OMG. Well, we'll uh, need to use somebody else. So they were on a mission. Base 2. Pocket Commando, Shaft Shambler. I think these guys were on a mission as well. These were definitely on a mission. Uh, Jono Bono can go on a craft. I think this, this crew was not on a mission for a longer time. So we'll take them, get them some experience. Why not? Okay. So, Jono, go there. One, two, three, four, Yon armor. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, don't need any light drones or anything. Viber blades, MC disruptors, cool. And let's do it like this. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, okay, something like that. And uh, that's team number four, try to number four, go here. And uh, I will just uh, do the mission off camera. So uh, don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. And we're done, 40 Nagas killed, some stuff uh, for, to sell. Our stat updates are 5, 2, 5, 3, 4, not too shabby, some accuracy and so on. I guess that's fine, let's sell everything except for the Naga corpses and ghost wrecks. We can sell everything else, I don't think we need uh, the Naga trident or anything else for anything. Which, uh, maybe I don't want to sell the implanters. And the rest, or the reanimation zone, I think, as well. Not sure about that. But the rest I can definitely sell. So, sell sack. Okay. And... Um, that's about it. Alright. Alright. What's next? Advanced detection vessel. These sensors are equipped with alien navigation. They can be delivered to any point on the globe and will remain floating in place until new orders are given. Our researchers believe that these devices can detect not only USOs, but alien bases as well. Which they probably can, if they have a sight 
Sight range, yes. Radar range, yes. Okay, very cool. Very cool. We won't be doing any of those. We will have global coverage very soon. For now, let's concentrate on something new. A Jellyman Corpse uh, seems like a good thing to do. It's not such a difficult topic, so let's do it there. We don't need to manufacture the boy. So let's put it away from the queue and continue. Alien Dungeon. All right. Where? Over here. This is base number four. Well, it doesn't matter. It will be night anyway. But uh, this is what we've been waiting for, basically. Now we have uh, the shielded operatives, although one of them is very hurt. <laughs> and um, we will try to go there and kill them all. Now the question is, you have all very good melee that might come in handy. How about this base? You are not so not so good. Did I purposefully send all the good melee operatives there and and left the rest here? How did it happen? Hmm. Okay, in any case, we will sort you by MC strength. And uh, we will just take the the best guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are the people going with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you are melee specialists. Is this even happening? 82, 100. That's crazy good. And firing? Firing is also perfect. So I will sort you by firing, but uh, descending like this. Okay, and now we have nine people who are ready to go. Anafia, Starring Poet, Mr. P, Afran, Niv, Maxim, Youngs, Captain Swordfish and Craze. Okay. And what do you need? You don't need the uh, MC weapons, right? What do I need? I just need to destroy everything. Maybe capture a few of those uh, Guardian Tass of Alive. Not too many, I guess. And um, and that's it. Well, I will need a chainsword. I think I will need the two heavy Fermi glances. I will need probably a few more Disruptor Pulse launchers. Just, just in case, I think. Just in case. And the rest we'll see. So, like that, but you need also better armor. So we'll take four Magion armors and uh, four Zerbite power armors and one Exosuit. I guess that's what we have and that's what we'll take. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one. And now we can put some more stuff on you. So everybody has um, the sonic cannon. These people, I think, don't carry anything else. We will need a few more bio flares, that's for sure. Uh, one, two, three, four. And uh, here we can take, let's say, one, two, three and now maybe a couple of these one two mm. I don't know that's a little bit 
a little bit bad. Twelve. Yeah, that's just enough. So you will be taking this. You will be taking that, yes. Can even take more. Okay. And we need uh, flares. And we need uh, these Raptor Pulse launchers. And we probably need a couple of MC readers potentially as well. These guys are not carrying anything. Hmm. Maybe I can... Uh, how can I do it? Maybe I can just give it to them and they will drop it immediately or something. So that I have it with me, but... Uh, yeah, something like that. Okay, now also... One, two, three, four, five, and the eight Disruptor Pulse Launchers, I think. Let's put everything away and take, uh, well, eight and eight. Something like that, that should be enough. That's gonna be on the floor. And... Um, we can have that on the floor as well for now. So these guys actually, one, two, three, four, they will be going out. So maybe you if you can, one, two, three, Four, you can have it. Yes. Yes, I think that's a better idea. Okay. So, are we ready? We have nine people only, but they are armed to the teeth. We have uh, actually been able to, without problems, go through the first part of the mission. It's only the second part that was uh, difficult because of the MC control. Yeah, that's what was the problem. So let's go. We have about half an hour, a little bit more than half an hour. I guess we can do the first part of the mission in this episode and then we'll do the second in the next episode. Yeah, it will be night, but who cares? High speed fighter flying sub. Which is our Manta. Nice. A high-speed one-man flying submarine interceptor closely resembling iron-powered alien ships. A highly effective strike craft in the escalating conflict. Two torpedoes, two cannons. Has a little bit of armor. A lot more speed than anything else before. Okay. Let's have a look. New fighter transporter. Why not? Let's do that. Manta, maybe later. I currently have other problems. By the way, we are 52% finished with the research. So still quite a lot to go. Yeah, it's gonna be night. But fine. I mean, why not? We believe we found what the Martians were searching for. An ancient dungeon hidden in the oceanic abyss. It appears to have been reactivated recently, which is why it is now traceable by our scanners. Your squad must thoroughly investigate the site and find out why the Martians believed it was so important. Let's do it. Let's even give the first two people this in their hands. Just because or not or maybe maybe only you because you can you can throw a flare 
Okay. So. This looks doable. This looks totally doable. Let's throw a flare here. And let's... Uh, shall we, like, try a couple of these just because we can? By the way, let's make it a little bit uh, brighter so that we see what's around us. I mean, we totally could. Yeah, let's uh, let's launch one torpedo here and here and here and somewhere there and down. No. Here and down. I think at least two of something died. Right? Put that down. And maybe Anafia. I don't know how much you would need to shoot this. 38. No, it's not enough. But you can throw it to someone and uh, they could try. Just for fun, right? So throw it there. And you can move, you can move. Starring Poet will pick it up. And he needs 46. So from here he should be able to do it. I would say right behind us. Somewhere like... I don't know. It's hard to know what is there. Can be... Can be maybe a lot of stuff. It seems like there is something here. also go this way so that when we step out we are not killed immediately actually that might be a good idea so let's go like there maybe two down no losses for some reason okay they they were not impressed <laughs> okay Efren, he will take one, and Mr. P will take one as well, just because you can, people, okay? And uh, these guys may want to go and scout a little bit later. For now, this is good. Come here, come here. And the first turn. And not much has happened. So, first craze. We need to know if there is anything near us. There is uh, a lot near us. There's a nice uh, thingy over there. There's probably something... Oh, you're, you do not have the flying stuff. Okay. That's fine. Somebody else will have the flying stuff. Like you. And uh, Anafia as well, right? Okay. So, first Anafia. Face this way, go up. That's pretty nice. I think we can totally kill them all with one blaster thingy. And that's what we should probably do because I don't want to deal with them too much. They are they are dangerous. Yeah, so Mr. P, one down, one up, one here. 
hard to say how exactly do I want to do this. I'd say I'll, I'll put it somewhere over here. Here, up, and... Um, there yeah yeah it works we have also a little bit of smoke I'm not sure if that's an advantage or a disadvantage hard to say right now you go away all these guys have those things all right and starring poet will uh, take one more for him I still don't see any... I still don't see any... Tassov or... Uh, the brains, tentaculates, things like that. Which doesn't fill me with joy, that's for sure. Okay, that's strange. There's still quite a few over there. Maybe this time we can use... Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely need to use Efren over here. So come here and come here. And that's what we were waiting for. That's what we were waiting for. So here, then down. Something like that. Yeah, they are down. That's what we needed to do, right? That's what we really needed to do. And uh, I don't know if I want to deal with them. I probably do. They are sort of annoying so while we still have these weapons let's make them work and uh, I would say over here they are on the ground meh That's fine. That's fine. Don't need anything more. Okay, how many more? We have two more. That should be enough. And uh, Niv can take the last one. Okay. And the turn. Now we just uh, have a look around, see if there are any tentaculates left, and if not, we'll, uh, we'll start killing them the good old way. Hello there. Not great. better. If you go all the way back, maybe you can spot more. Yes, you can. Good job. Actually, I don't need these in... Uh, in this level, right? Here I can totally kill everybody. You are also in a good position, so put those down. Yeah, like this. And there is something small there, I don't see what it is. Let's uh, use Niv to shoot. And 
That wasn't a great nib. Efren, can you do better? Yes, you can. Let's have a look who there is. We don't see them. They seem to be too far away. Okay, that's fine. So how many more? One, two, three, three of these guys, right. Hanafia? It's time to throw some flares. Have a quick look. We still don't see them for some reason. Okay. And now we just go and clean it up. One is right in front of us. There they are. No line of fire for some reason. Okay. Hmm. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Maybe I should do this a couple more times because they still have a lot on me. So you guys just move like this and then we'll then we'll have a few people who can shoot over there Anafia can you have a look that's fine that's fine we just need to avoid those tentaculates that's all that is really all. Over here nobody and let's check it over there as well. Nobody. Okay, come up. You see two of them. No problemo. 50 is good enough. So that you can go down and uh, somebody else can go up. Is there something? There is something above me. <laughs> okay, so go inside. Oh no, there is nothing above me. I just can't fly. That's all. Okay, flying guys are all here. That sucks. Hmm. Do we want to risk it? I think we can already risk it. Well, that was not that much worth it. Okay. Over here, nobody. I could start throwing grenades. Instead, I will throw a few flares. Now we see more, as you can see. Okay. That's still fine. I think we'll need to shoot once, because this guy could come closer to us and kill us, I think. Or we can try a couple of... Uh, couple of um, reaction shots. That's not gonna work. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use it. I don't wanna Oh, 
I don't want them to die or anything. Too bad we lost our flare as well, but uh, hey, can't have everything. Okay. So somebody with a flare, maybe, maybe captain. Throw it all the way there. Come out. One and two. These guys have what I need for potential tentaculates. They start panicking already. Yes, exactly. Just no tentaculates and we'll be all happy. Okay, so who can fly? Anafia, Starving, Pianefren. So... You. Go up. See two people. Not bad. But we want to scout some more this time, actually. There's more. There's more, okay. We'll start dealing with them one by one. So first, Maxim. Mm, it's probably quite far, right? Didn't work. Yeah. Not such a big problem. If we kill a few more of these, they will start panicking even more. And now we can go and send him a present or something. Mm. Forty-nine. Oh, that's... Just enough. Good job, Starving. And Anafia can probably do something similar. Over here, 54. I mean, 64. You must be able to do it from here, right? How not? Ay ay ay. Okay, just uh, stay in that position. Maybe you can shoot later. These two guys come out. One here and one. One here. And you can also come out. That was a very nice panic. I don't know how you did it, but... Good job. Not that it helps you. Okay. That's also not such a big problem, I would say. Can we shoot? No. No. Okay. How many tentaculates did we kill? We killed three. No, two. I am afraid that there's more. I am afraid there's more, but um, maybe there isn't. Put that down so you can uh, shoot better. And throw this all the way there. Still nothing new. Hmm. Now, maybe one more. Somewhere over there. Still nothing new. 
Ouch. What? Really? How did we not get hurt? These things usually kill us in one go. That's very interesting. Okay. So... I guess we can move. If there wasn't for these guys, I would move much more aggressively. that with you. Come here. Put it down. So four guys in this direction. Then uh, two shooters. One here and one here. And that's it. Okay. Still fine. Yonks. See anyone? No? Guess not. Guess not. <laughs> okay. Then go inside. Oh, hello. Hello. Just die. Right now. And that's it. Okay, into the chambers of the ancient alien dungeon. Your squad has taken an access lift to the underground level of the installation. Proceed cautiously as you investigate the interior. Okay, so let's uh, put one, two, three, four. And then we can do this, right? Copy one, two, and we can copy that as well. Copy, paste, and then uh, he had just that. We still have two more. So one here, one here. And two of these. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One and two. Do I need uh, all of these? I don't, right? I can take them as backups. And uh, Anafia. Starring point will have backup things like that. Sonic pulsers, I can probably take a few. Just so that uh, the aliens don't get access to them. These are empty. Yes, yes, here we go. Okay, and uh, we are. I don't know. Do we have enough time? I think we have a little bit more time. So maybe we can... Uh, yeah, that's the Guardian. Maybe we can do something about it. Hmm. So first... It is huge, but we are in a corner. So, these guys, they just need, um, they just need to die immediately. Hmm. 
Okay. It is possible to one-shot them. Which is very good in my opinion. Let's... Uh, throw some light in both directions, if we can. Mr. P. Over there. Excellent. And uh, now we hide ourselves or something and wait for them to come for us. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Certainly feels like a good idea. Let's try it like this. Just, uh, just uh, hug the walls. Let them move. Let them spend their time, and it's a little bit more. And uh, this is a nice hiding place. This is a nice hiding place. This might be a relatively nice hiding place. Anything else? Oh yes, we will probably need uh, the scanner on one side and, hmm, and a scanner on the second side as well, maybe Efren. Do I want to go with you even further? I probably should risk it. No, I should not have risked it. <laughs> okay, should not have risked it. That was stupid. Don't move on turn one. Why on earth did I do that? Just why? 3, 36, 13. Yeah, okay, so starring point can maybe give it to someone who still has some time in its left. They can go and save him. And um, that's that's about it. So 59, 65. Yeah, this will have to do. This will have to do. I know it was dangerous. Oh, and this is even more dangerous. Why did you have to wake up? You were not supposed to wake up. Now I have to go and stun you or something. Yeah, now you are also... OMG. Now you're also taking uh, stun damage, aren't you? Yeah, this means he's freezing to death, I think. Well... We can probably help you with that as well somehow, but uh, for now, just stay where you are. Okay, let's end the first turn. That was horrible. I always tell myself, don't do anything on the first turn, don't do anything on the first turn, and I always go around the corner. Always. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there as well. Okay, he's still alive. That's beautiful. So we'll need to help him, I think. Drop that. Ah! 
Hmm. I guess it's not going to be that easy, is it? How did he have enough? He moved a lot. He moved a lot. That was not supposed to happen. Oh, that was also not supposed to freaking happen. How did you miss? Man, this sucks. Hmm. Okay, Anafia. I'm really sorry. You were there with us like from the beginning or something and uh, now you're dead. It's the alien dungeon, I tell ya. It's the alien dungeon. It does that to people. I think we can go through here. We can. You don't have a medikit. Mr. P is far away. Is that it? Wow. Okay, well, use the sensor since there is nothing here. We need to go and uh, throw that over there. Drop this, take that. And let's use, I think, stimulants. Not sure what helps, actually. We may lose you, Efren. We may very well lose you. I don't know, this says they have a lot of stun, doesn't it? And this should uh, this should get rid of at least some stun, but he was stunned like twice, once with my uh, stun thingy and once with uh, the aliens. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, I think it's just about time to end the episode, so let's uh, call it a day here. And when we come back, without uh, two very valuable people, we'll try to do this mission with just seven operatives. I really do hope we'll succeed. We might have some serious losses, even more than two, I'd say. Yeah, if we, if we manage to do this mission, it will be nice. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Okay, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.